Catalonia sacked leader Carles Puigdemont has called for the region's political forces to unite against Spain as he approached a deadline for a coalition with other pro-independence parties. He also denounced Spain as an unjust country for jailing his colleagues. Take a listen in. El que está fent l'estat espanyol és una regressió tan bèstia de drets i llibertats que si no la combatem junts, probablement pugui guanyar. I que si volem accedir un dia a la independència, en les condicions que ens agrada a nosaltres, ho hem de fer des de la llibertat i la democràcia. Sense llibertat i democràcia no és possible. This comes after Puigdemont was released on a conditional bail by Belgian authorities after he exiled a after he took exile to the country when Spain fired his successionist administration, he is now preparing for snap elections uh, scheduled for Catalonia on December 21st and has asked Spain and the European Union to respect the results of this election. Et donc il faut écouter et entendre l'engagement direct du gouvernement espagnol et de l'Europe à respecter les résultats. Il faut le dire clairement. Meanwhile, in Spain, entrepreneurs and business leaders met in the European Parliament in Brussels to discuss the economic impact of the Catalonian independence crisis, while some members raised the question of political and economic stability since the independence referendum for Catalonia. The managing director of a Spanish company simply described those asking for independence as selfish. But the leaders said they are hoping for some stability to be restored after the snap elections on December 21st. Majority, enough majority to conform a coalition or a government by December 21st after the elections, I think that will bring a lot of stability. As you can imagine, it's political instability means economic instability. I think we can reach political instability by having one of these governments. If we have another pro-independence government or some coalition with some pro-independence government, I think for at least the economic activity is going to be, maybe it can recover a little bit if the pro-independence in this coalition, for instance, at least they pledge some sort of loyalty to the law. Which is